in this lesson we'll learn how to deal with average or mean median and mode distance calculation unit conversion and probability so let's get started the first thing we'll learn is average or mean so let me write a few numbers and try to find the average so say like seven eight nine six and five how to find the average or mean average and mean are the same thing so average a equal to you know to add them up so seven plus eight plus nine plus six plus five and then divided by the numbers so how many numbers we have here one two three four five so that divided by five so if if we add them together so that will give you 35 so 35 over 5 and the average will be just 7 let's do another example so I have a uh, fraction 3 over 5 and 1 half same thing uh, average or uh, mean is add them together and then divided by the number of fractions so do the same way how to add this fraction together so 3 fifth plus 1 half so common denominator is 10 here it's 10 here right so multiply that by 2 that by 2 by 5 by 5 so now 3 times 2 is 6 5 times 1 is 5 so if we add them so that will give you 11 over 10 so now you need to divide it by 2 so this so now we have 11 over 10 times 1 over 2 you might remember that um we did it like in fraction section that um keep change flip so the final answer is 11 over 20. Okay, so I have some problem. Uh, so you could try by yourself. I have an example here. Um, 3.5 8 point seven, nine point five, and just 7. Right, so make sure that is uh, you could understand. So let's add them together. So you have 3.5 uh, plus uh, 8.7. 9.5 7.0 so if you add them up so 7 plus 5 is 12 plus 5 is 17 7 carry 1 7 plus 1 is 8 8 plus 9 is 17 17 plus 8 35 or 25 25 plus 3 is 28 over 7 as 0.7 right now you could divide that um, 28.7 divided by 4. So this is um, 7. So 7 times 4 is 28. Move the decimal on the top. Bring this 7 down. 4 goes into 7 1 times is 4. Subtract it, you get 3. Because of this decimal, get a 0. 4 goes into uh, 30 is... 7 times, so 7 times 4 is 28, subtract it, you get 2, another 0, this is 5, this is 20. I have a fraction here, 5 and 1 third and 4 and 1 half. How to find average on uh, these two mixed numbers, okay? So 5 times 3 is 15 plus 1 is 16 over 3 plus 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9 over 2 right so the same way find the common denominator which is 6 here multiply that by 2 by 2 by 3 by 3 so 16 times 2 is um, 32 9 times 7 uh, 9 times 3 is 27 so if we add them together so that will give you uh, 59 over Six, right now we need to divide that by 
2. So that will give you um, 59 over 6 times 1 over 2. So that is actually um, 59 over 6 times 2 is 12. So now let's make this as a uh, mixed number. So let me write that down here. So 12 to uh, 59. So 12 goes into uh, 59 is 4 times. So 4 times 12 is 48. Subtract it, you get 1 here, you get 1 here. So that is 11 over 12. So that is the average of um, these two mixed number. Okay. All right. So let's go to the next topic. Here we'll learn uh, how to find um, median and mode. So median is the mid value of a series. So let me write that down. Uh, median. Okay. So I have seven, three, nine, four, five, right? So if you want to find a median, you need to first write this all this number ascending or descending order so let's write as an um, ascending order so i have here three four five seven nine now you need to cross them out from first one last one this that so this is the median right so if, if you have a, here is a word number how you could do with if the numbers are even so let me write that down so say like i have seven three nine four five six right one two three four five six so right let me write that down in order so i have three four five six seven nine one two three four five six So now um, I could cross them out. First one, last one, this, this. So now you see I have two number in the middle. So what you need to do, you need to add them together and then divided by two. So that gives you five plus six is 11 divided by two. And if you make into um, a decimal, so that will give you 5.5. So that is the median. Okay, let's go to our uh, next problem. In this section, we'll learn how to calculate distance. So let me write down the formula to calculate distance. So D equal R T. So let me write that down. Um, what do you mean is of this variable? So this is a distance. Right, uh, R equal to rate and t equal to time the unit normally for the distance is a mile for the rate is a mile per hour and the time is normally uh, hour okay so if you write rewrite the equation you could do three, three different ways this is number one the number two you could write um, rate equal to distance over time or time equal to distance over rate. So let me give you a very simple example. Say you are driving your car from point A to point B, which is 300 miles. And you are driving at a rate of 70 miles per hour, 75 miles per hour. How long it takes to go from point A to point B. So use the formula T time equal to uh, distance over rate. So the distance is 300 mile uh, and the rate is 75. So you could divide. Uh, so 75 with uh, 300. So how many times 75 goes into 300? Actually four times. So this is 300. So this is four hours. So it takes four hours to go from point A to point B. All right. 
So let me uh, give you a problem here. So I have a problem here. Um, how long it takes to complete a trip? So uh, on a trip, you drive 350 miles at an average speed of 50 miles per hour. You then return home driving at an average speed of 70 miles per hour. How long did it take to complete your trip? So you try by yourself. I'm giving you the answer. So um, to make sure that you, you get the right thing. OK, so let me write that down. The, the correct answer. This is total time T equal um, 12 hours. So you need to find how long it takes uh, to go from point A to point B like this. A um, to B, so which is um, 350 miles, it is going uh, 50 miles per hour and coming back with 70 miles per hour. Yeah, let's try yourself. Just see that you could do it, okay? Go to the next topic. So in this section, we'll learn how to do uh, unit conversion. Okay, We don't need to learn all these units. You need to uh, know a few unit conversion and that should be fine. The first of all, we'll learn one feet equal to how many inches? 12 inches, right? Uh, one yard equal three feet equal 36 inches right one pound equal 16 ounces right one year equal 365 days um, one ton on metric ton equal to 2000 pound one minute equal to 60 second one hour equal to 60 minute all right so now let's do a problem so say like um i have seven feet eight inch plus uh three feet nine inches how you could add them so it's not regular addition right so you need to it's a little bit different so eight plus nine is 17 inch seven plus three is 10 feet now anytime if you have a inch is more than 12 you need to convert this inch into feet so how you could do that so 12 and then divide uh with 17 so 17 12 goes into 17 is one times is 12 subtract it you get five right so now you get extra feet from here and you have remainder five inch so the answer will be um, one plus ten is eleven feet and this is five inch okay hope you got it let's go to um, next topic So I have a, a few problem for unit conversion that I just did. You try by yourself. So I have a problem uh, nine feet, three inch and four feet, five inch. This time you have to subtract it. Let's see that you could do it. Okay. So um, you try by yourself. If you cannot do it, then uh then i'm writing the answer in here you could check okay the answer is actually um four feet ten inch okay let's say that you could get it let's go to the next topic uh in this section we'll learn probability so everybody, I think, uh, have played this dice game. So there are uh, six sides of a die, right? 
so you need to find that uh, probability so how to find the probability so before we find the probability let me write down the definition of probability so probability is denoted by p equal to um desired outcome yes desired outcome over total outcome okay so what is the probability of getting a two so how many two we have here we have one two three four five six so how many two we have one one out of six that is the total number of outcome right so what is the probability of an um, even number so how many even number you have we have one two three so that is three out of six now what is the probability is not a two is not a two so how many are not two how many two we have we have one two so the rest of them are not two right so that is actually five out of six okay so if, if you write is all of those in terms of um percent you could do that if you make into decimal so that will give you 0.166 so that is 16.67 percent so this one will be um, 0 0.5 equal to 50 percent and that will be um, 0.833 so that is 83.3 percent all right so I, I have a problem here. Um, you could you could try by yourself. There are ten red marbles and uh, four green marbles in a bag. A child races in the bag and randomly takes one marble. What is the probability of getting a green marble? So the answer is one quarter or uh, twenty five percent. 